We are live. Hi, Gilda. Hi. <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. If if you tuned in a few minutes ago, you were the early birds. We were just chit-chatting. If you're just coming in, welcome. You will see me and not Gilda. I am sorry. But we're going <laughs> to chit-chat. We're going to talk about groups. We're going to talk about celebrity. I want to welcome you here to the Ask Stuart Hour. If you are new to the program, if you've never been here before, here's how it works real quick. Because whenever I have a special group expert in the house, I open it up to all agents to come in and learn, be inspired, get uh, questions answered. Just type in anything into that question box. And my commitment is to try to get those questions here for me or and or Gilda to address. So that's the way it works. Uh, we, we, well, I do actually have two slides to share with you that Gilda shared with me uh, that we'll put up. Uh, but normally, this is the only slide you're going to see. This is a this is an unscripted program, just tr really pure business coaching. Gilda, I'm going to I'm going to give you the platform for a minute here. If there's any agents out there who don't know you, who have never met you, who are you, and what do you do? Oh wow, um, I. Many agents probably have not met me. Let's start off with that. Um, I work um, in the Miami office. I've been with the company for, wow, it's going to be 33 years. Wow. Um, I've been um, both, I've been on Celebrity Now um, for, wow, maybe 15 years. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> Um, and I do, I do basically support. I have an inside sales team that um, manages our smaller accounts um, on the phone, so we don't do calls or visits to the offices. Um, and then I have a sales communication team, and they're responsible for communicating anything to our trade partners um, um, from our brand, any offers, any new programs that we're starting. Hmm. Um, and we through, do that especially through the celebrity commitment. That everything that you need to know about celebrity, including groups, is on that um, on that page. Okay. And then I have um, special my special events team, and those are the ones that are responsible for um, any events that we may do, whether it's um, consumer shows, trade shows, the pre inaugurals for the Edge that's coming up. Um, they're responsible to make sure those events are um, run smoothly. Um, and then my other job is making sure that sales is represented in any offers that we do for um, our trade partners. So anytime you see an offer out there, um, I'm the one that usually represents the voice of sales within our internal groups. Is that That's all? Me. Is that That's all? <laughs> Oh my gosh! So, so you were there when when I was there, because as you might remember, I th this is I was there when Royal and Celeb sort of split when Dondra came in, yep. uh, and then I came back. I did a, a keynote a couple of years back for you guys, so I I know we have met somewhere down the road along the line for sure. I asked Keith Lane. I said. Who was the best person on the inside there at Celebrity to talk about groups? We need to get him on the show here. And Keith said, without hesitating, your name. Tell us why. <laughs> tell, tell us why. I think it's because um, the years of the company, for sure. I mean, that that is number one. Um, I've been in... Um, various areas within the company that has allowed me to become knowledgeable. I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, we, I've worked, I started with the company in reservations. I, then I went to groups. And from there, marketing, revenue, sales. So I know how it all works, how it's all put together, why we do the things that we do with groups, why we want groups. And I'm going to say that from the beginning. We love groups. We love groups because we know that they can be a great investment if done correctly, right? So we want to, we want to fill. We, we have a 28 to 30% groups um, on every sailing. That's a huge number, yes. um, especially, you know, we don't normally share numbers like that, you know, throughout the cruise line industry, but it is a huge number. It's it is. larger or the same as many of our competitors. Right. So just about a third 
of yep. the staterooms on any given voyage on a celebrity ship is filled with a group guest. So uh, that, that's that's pivotal. So you said something about uh, you know success and failures with, with agents. You've seen, you've, I'm sure you've seen the good and the bad. The, uh, and, and, and agents who are joining us today, let me remind you that this is your chance to to get the inside scoop from Gilda right here, right now. And if it's not about groups, if it's about policies, procedures, uh, support, you can get tools that you may or may not know are available. Now's the chance to bring it, to type it in. I'm going to get to it. But I want to kick it off uh, because I have a whole long list of questions here. The first question I want to ask with you is uh, all these years do, doing doing it on the supplier side, on the brand side, Gilda, mm -hmm. what do you wish, what do you wish agents did differently, took more advantage of? Uh, what, what is it that, because here's your chance to tell everyone on the line right now are serious about group. What Here's okay. your chance to tell them, what do you wish they did differently or better? Then I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you two different scenarios, right? Okay. Because, okay. yeah, although, you know, every travel partner may book with us a larger amount and with another cruise line a bigger amount, mm -hmm. but it's all the same. Whether it's a small group or a large group, it's all the same. Book your groups early. Start marketing your groups. If you have, you have the opportunity of taking out groups with celebrity um, on one sailing per month, right? as long as you continue on booking the same um, percentage of groups year after year. Mm -hmm. I know agencies of mine that are smaller producers with, with celebrity, mm -hmm. that all they do is groups. They don't bother with FIT bookings because what they do is they take out groups and they promote these groups from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So they promote it out, whether it's in a local advertisement, whether it's a national advertisement, whether it's them talking to um, their clients about the groups they have, having a cruise nights in their, in their office or their homes. All they do is promote the groups they have on the books. And what happens there is now they're talking about it. If a call comes in and, and they're looking for Caribbean, they may be looking for Caribbean in December, but the group they have is, say, you know, mid-November, they're going to talk about that group first. They may or may not get the sale for the November, but they're going to talk about that first. Okay. That's where I think we miss the opportunity. A lot of accounts, they go out and they book the space. Hmm. But Stuart, I'm going to tell you, they don't market their space. Hmm. Because now it comes um, 180 days or 120 days prior to sailing where we have to release space that hasn't been sold, hmm. and these groups are dropping off. And now the rates on these sailings, by the way, are higher, 10, 20, 25, 30, 50% higher than what the original rate was. Right. They have the opportunity of selling the cabin at a lower price, right. right, for their consumer. They had amenities probably that they could have offered their consumer, whether they're, it's a promotional group and they offer something um, for the state room or if it's an affinity group where they have like a uh, cocktail party that they can throw. They had advantages of these groups that they're, that they're not taking um, um, advantage of early on. Right. So if it was one thing, if yeah. you have a group and you take it, concentrate on that group. Yeah. Market that group from the beginning. Right, because the advantage will be uh, sufficient, will be outstanding. It gives you something to talk about. It gives you the edge. Oh, pardon the pun. Oh. <laughs> um, I, 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 oh, did you have two things? Was that? Did you mention the two, or was that was that with the big one right there? Focus on that. That one. was the big one. The, the, big. the, the difference was that the smaller accounts are not taking advantage of of promoting that group at for the for the life of the group, where the some larger accounts really have the benefit because they're taking out the groups at the early onset, and that's what they promote through all their 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 advertising. All their marketing, that's what they're pushing out. So you're okay. seeing accounts that have this, mm -hmm. and you see a lower pricing, and you're saying, where do they get that price? Well, guess what? They got that price through groups. Right. Now, we're also, the, the, your conversation right now is focused, uh, of not necessarily 100%, but a lot on the speculative or on the promotional group space. 
versus right. affinity where the agent has a specific group in mind. They're not running ads, let's say, in newspapers. They're marketing specifically to a list of, of people who would be a part of that affinity, who want to be there on this group on that date, and you know they create a whole, whole package. So uh, so th there's, we're, we're, I just want to make sure everyone listening knows that there's, there's two ways of going about this, affinity or, or the affinity or the promotional, where you where market it, sell into it. Uh, so I want to make sure everybody understands that. Uh, we got a question here from Belvin. Hello, Belvin. He says, I met Jason Douglas Harris, and he discussed a celebrity cruise during Carnival in Rio. Are there any other cruises during events in which a promotional group may be beneficial? Um, absolutely. I mean, but that really, it, it, it depends whether we do that promotional group or, or whether we advertise it, celebrity advertises that promotional group as a reel or a wine or a golf or whatever it may be. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't, right? So every area is different. So, you know, in Miami we're looking for, you know, concerts and stuff like that. And, um, you know, in, in Boston they may be looking for something else. Um, it, it's what's the niche in your area, and what's going on that you can that they would understand um, in, in that area that you're marketing. If you're a local marketing, right? If you're not doing it nationally, because that's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But find out what's going on in the world. So we have uh, internally, we actually have a calendar, um, and that calendar basically shows all the events around the world that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, and what we try to do is we try to do signature cruises. Now I'm going to be very honest. The signature cruises for us have not worked very well um, because I don't think they're 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 as catchy as as uh, I, I don't know honestly I don't know why I can't I wish they would because they're actually spectacular cruises um, but find what works in your area and promote that I'll give you an example um, wine cruises you know celebrities known for their culinary their wine I mean we promote that we market that this is what you can find on board. Mm -hmm. Wine cruises for us um, with accounts have worked very, very well. Okay. Um, you can do whatever um, events are happening in the area. There's, there's wine and food events in all areas, I can say. I can probably say that honestly. Yeah. Um, we go there, promote the cruise there, because you're talking now to the group of people that like the same thing. Right. And it's so much easier when you can talk about wine or you can talk about golf or you can talk Bermuda Bermuda and golf I mean I'm not a golfer but I know that you can golf in Bermuda sure. and I know that golfers love to golf there mm -hmm. so those are the kind of things that you have to look for look at your 2018 2019 calendar because remember we have we're, we're, we're deploying now our deployment is uh, Europe is out there already for for 20 mm -hmm. excuse me for 19 um, uh, yeah, for 20. What am I talking about, Story, We have 19. Wow. And uh, what do we have out there? I'm so confused. I just came back from vacation, guys, so I'm sorry. Um, but we are opening our deployment for Alaska now in 19. There, we already, you got to start thinking that far ahead, right? And look at the calendar of events that's happening. What's happening in 19 that you can market around? Right. Take advantage of everything that's out there, right? We... People do the legwork already. All we have to do is piggyback on what they have and what we know your clients will, will like. Yeah, so that's interesting. So, and, and agents, if you aren't aware of that, uh, these signature cruises, they, they, are, they already have a theme, if you will. There, there's something a little different, something a little extra. What a great way, if, if not a promotional or speculative group, but to put your affinity group, plug them into an affinity that's already going on on the ship, you get the best of both worlds. You don't need to worry about doing special stuff, okay, because celebrities are already going to do it. So this is a great way. Anybody who's on today, have you guys ever done that? Have you ever joined the strength of your affinity with the strength of, of a celebrity a signature event, and you come out just so much so far ahead of the game because it's already something special? I'm curious if you have. I have a question here from Lena. 
And then uh, I have a whole list of questions specific about onboard events, amenity points, future cruises booked on board, uh, all kinds of stuff coming up. But I want to get to these questions as they come in. Lena asked this question, and I know you're here representing celebrity. She mentions royal in this, but it's for an example. So pay attention, everyone. This is this is a good this is a good one, Gilda. Here it comes. Okay. I've taken out groups a couple of times on royal and promoted it. And then they lowered the price, so my price was higher. And it made me look like a fool. How can I prevent this? I end up canceling the groups. This is it this is an issue. This is a this is a risk. And I've heard this for years. So how would you coach Lena in this regard? So first let me say I can't speak for Royal because I don't I don't um I think celebrity promotes groups um, more than royal, um, and I'm not ditching. I mean, listen, my stocks are on royal also, so I'm not. <laughs> this is a sister brand for the company, so right. no offense uh, to royal whatsoever. But uh, I, I want to make sure everybody knows this. This is very important because God, you don't know how many times this question has been asked. If there is a lower rate that comes out, and you're and you have a group, you can look as long as groups is open, right? So there's two things. Let me let me let me break it down in two ways. Okay. If we still have group access or group space available, you can convert to the lower pricing. Let me first start off there. Right. So the group pricing still has to be available for you to convert. However, say the group pricing uh, the group space is not available, you can name your your um, booking and FIT and get the lower pricing and move that into your group. You can move it into your group. So you still get the amenities that you had from the very beginning. The pricing is still available in groups. It just has to be booked a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. So if groups is open, for for example, if, if pricing went down in one of our veranda staterooms. Okay. Um, pricing went down, your group is $50 higher. You mm -hmm. booked and the groups is open. Mm -hmm. You can go in there and change the lower pricing. Say groups is closed, meaning that that category is no longer available um, you can't you can't get another stateroom for the, for that new price. You okay. can book it in FIT, and then you can call and move in that FIT booking into your groups. You can do that with Celebrity. Will that FIT booking that you've moved over into groups mm -hmm. will that count towards earning the TCs? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, it it's just a, for us. It's more of a, more of a system limitation than anything else, because we if we don't want to take, for example, if we don't want to take any more space in groups, we close it. Yeah. Right. Right. But we don't want to prevent our group players from getting the better price. Mm -hmm. So for celebrity, and again, not speaking for royal because I can't. Yep. But for celebrity, we allow our group uh, players to move their FIT bookings into groups. And get the lower price, get their TC, and get their amenities yeah. for for their gap points. Okay, uh, Lena, tell me if this helps you. And I think everyone on the call is interested to hear that question because we're always concerned if the price drops, what happens. So clearly, uh, you know, it sounds a little confusing about the process, but it's clearly a, a systems limitation of how things have to be prices changed and slid in. So I appreciate you. Giving giving us examples, Gilda, of how it works. And one other thing I want to make sure I say here, and Gilda, you tell me if you agree or disagree. But in group boot camp, one of the key elements to success is that I believe we should not be selling the off-the-shelf, bare-bones, stripped-down product. And I mean that with all due respect because obviously mm -hmm. the celebrity product is magnificent mm -hmm. as it is. However... When it comes to a group, we should be creating a more inclusive package. What more can we include? And we're going to get to your short excursions in a second because your short excursions, yes or no, when it's a group short excursion or a bulk short ex ticket, is it commissionable? Yep, 10%. There you go. So I believe and – It's an advantage for them. Yes. So when you create a package, 
and the other stuff you're adding in is commissionable, it is so much harder for the consumer to compare prices. And if you find out the price has dropped, there's a promotion, and you make that phone call to your partner advocate. Did I get that right, partner advocate? Yep. Yep. Then and you can you can get that. It, it, it then it comes down to up to the agent. Hey, are you going to give back that at fifty bucks? Are you going to keep that? Are you going to pass it back in the form of some additional value add? But if you present a pricing that has that that includes so much more, they're not going to be as concerned if the price drops because that dropped price does not include the short excursion, the pre and post transfers, all the, the special stuff you've built in to the package. So quick question for you, Gilda. Do you accept, the celebrity accept an overpayment? Should the agent collect a little bit more from the client because they've created a package? We do not accept overpayments. Um, okay. It'll either go back to them um, if it's paid by most of them are always paid by credit card. Um, it'll go back to the the, the consumer's credit card, um, mostly consumer's credit card, right? Because it won't go back as commission. And I'll tell you why. We yeah. don't we don't promote we promote that is value added at ten percent, and that's uh, for groups and FIT. That's just in general. That's our policy. We don't. Um, we do, however, um, the way you can when you're talking about packaging like that. You create a net group, right? We have net rates out there, right? Okay. And just to get a net rate is basically we provide a rate that's commission free, right? It doesn't include commission. Right. So what they can do now with that, they can now charge for their group what they feel their services that they've added. Um, they can book the, uh, the excursions into that group. They can book. Um, uh, Onboard products, you know whether they're going to put, uh, they're going to go ahead and get the beverage package for everybody. Although they can do that with Go Big, Better, and Best. So, but right. just just an idea, they can book air. Stuart, did you know that our air, a a booking with air, mm -hmm. sticks ninety percent more than one without. Ninety percent, meaning, right. yes, yes. People don't cancel. Mm. They don't cancel. So we love bookings with air mm -hmm. because we know that once they book the air, mm -hmm. they're committed, right? Because yeah. most of our air that we provide and most of the good pricing air you can get out there is non-refundable. Well, mm -hmm. guess what? I've made a commitment. It's a pretty big commitment sometimes if you're going to Europe, right? I mean, you can get a ticket per person, you know, $1,200 if you're going to Europe. That's a big commitment for, for a lot of people. Yep. So that booking sticks. Can I tell you for our internal team? So we, you know, we have a direct channel. Everybody has a direct channel. Right. They, they, they book air with almost every booking they do, and their conversion rates are through the roof. Through the roof. So what so that's I'm hearing, a, when you package something together, package it with air. Yeah. That's a more. It, 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 for some reason, it just commits that that guest um, a lot more to that sailing that's in the future than anything can happen. Right. right, but we have insurance for all that. Mm -hmm. There's that insurance covers everything. So when you're talking about packaging, my recommendation is work with the sales manager. We have net pricing out there. We can do net groups, and then you build in the travel agent builds in what they want in that group. And at that point, they can price it whatever they want, as long as the value is good to the guest that they're selling it okay. to. It doesn't matter. It's it's a that's a beautiful solution. This is really great, everybody. I was not aware of this. So here is your solution to creating a package and not having to worry about multiple forms of collecting payments from your clients, uh, having to use your own merchant account, having to accept some money by check. You can do it. This is big news. Carolyn, now a couple of quick comments here. Carolyn, uh, when you talked about the uh, changing the FIT fair, moving it into group, she she asked, is, is that refairing? But it's, so I'm not really sure the nature of the question. Is it refairing? Are we, are we, uh, are we changing the, act, the original booking? Are we actually changing the booking to the lower fare and they get a new booking number? I'm not sure if that's what the question is. Does that make sense yeah, to you? So they would book, so I, I, I want to make sure I answer that one in two parts just because I'm, I'm hearing, when I hear refairing, that means that a booking's already named. 
Right, so and when the price to... drops, Carolyn, Carolyn is saying here, when the price drops and you go back and you refair it. So go ahead. So basically you would book a new booking in FIT, and that booking now is moved into your group. And, I mean, at that point you wouldn't have had a booking in groups. You would just have a group ID. You don't have a booking ID. So there's... Okay. I'm, but I'm here. But I want to make sure I, I want to add to that because you can book an FIT and get that lower pricing, and then move that booking, which is now considered a new booking, right, uh, and move it into your groups. Now, if you have a group booking that is already named, right, because then that's what the only time we assign the the booking IDs. That's when they become named, because at that point it's all speculative space, right? Um, just holding inventory fake inventory at that point, but when you name it, you get your booking ID. So when you have a group that's, are, that's named, so you have a booking ID and the price drops, that goes back to our price guarantee, right? If you find a lower price within the, 40, the, the 48, 72 hours, you can, you can get that lower price, and that okay. is also valid for groups. So there's, there's two scenarios that we're talking about. Yes. One is I have a group of eight, but I haven't named anything. The price lowers, mm -hmm. the group space may or may not be open, but you can still move a FIT booking in, so now you have a, a booking in groups. The other one is I have group space and I have some named and the group price lowered. Well, that goes back to our booking, um, our pricing guarantee. We guarantee our pricing as long as it's found, it, it, it's done within 72 hours. Okay. Again, we're very, very group friendly. We want to make it work because we know that, we know if, if we can book, if we can book all our groups, if we book all our groups, and all those groups come through, mm -hmm. we will be selling very little FIT, right? Yeah. So lower pricing, higher FIT pricing. So now you're competitive, right? You can still still sell both, because at the end of the day, we're all trying to make a little bit more money, right? Right. So you sell your groups at a lower rate, which is competitive in the market, and then we can keep our pricing up. And sell it to everybody else. Right. Exactly. It's, it's, I know. It's, yeah. When, it's, when it works, it works. <laughs> it works, it works. Yeah. Yeah. I put up a slide here. I'm going to leave it up. This is the slide you sent to me because you, you said that you're committed to groups and, you know, great, delivering great service and working with your, your partners, your, your agents. Um, this, you want to just give a quick description of this slide, please. And friends, I will leave it up for you. And if you want a copy of this, if you, you know, uh, so you have it, at least you know, but, but, but before you write everything down, let Gilda explain what you're looking at here. Yep, absolutely. So, um, you know, Stuart and I were talking a little bit earlier, and we promote our, our, our employees. We, we love sharing who we are, um, and we, we do it through uh, multiple uh, channels. But our group department is very, very important. We work very closely. Sales and groups work very closely. As a matter of fact, both areas report up to Dondra, so we're, we have to work closely together, um, but we like making sure that what they're communicating, we're communicating, and it starts with great people. I mean, we all know that. Yeah. I don't need to promote that. We know that if we have great people working for us, um, not that, listen, not that everything's going to come out right the first time, mm -hmm. but we know that we're going to have somebody to work on it. So Jennifer Morales actually has been with um, the company for over 10 years, and she is a great resource for groups. Um, she basically manages the group department in, in Wichita. She is your lead lady. Mm -hmm. um, she is very experienced in groups. As a matter of fact, I think she has been only in groups for the time that she's been with us. So she's very, very knowledgeable, not only about what our policies are, but what we can and cannot do. Because, you know, sometimes we try to do things that, um, our systems won't let us, mm -hmm. um, but she will. We will always find a resolution, whether whether it's 100% favorable for the travel agent or sometimes not 100%. But we find a resolution one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ladria is our supervisor, um, and so is Jeremy Sprayberry and Richard Abraham. Mm -hmm. um, that they're, they're three of uh, the supervisors, and they kind of like. They, they back each other up, but they have different responsibilities, right? Okay. So um, the partner, uh, group's partner uh, um, advocate, advocate um, they all do that in one way or the other. But one of them does 
higher complex Jeremy does the higher complexity um, groups. Basically, Jeremy has been around for a long time. <laughs> he's been around for a long time. As a matter of fact, probably since our Wichita office opened, he's been there. Great person, great attitude. Um, as a matter of fact, he just won um, Group Employee of the Year when we did our sales conference. Great person to talk to. Uh-huh. Very um, knowledgeable about our groups and ba- basically very knowledgeable about our brand. Um, then you have uh, Richard Abrams. Um, I usually work with Richard when it has to do with something that we're trying to do that, you know, our system will let us. <laughs> He's always the president of Bible, okay, how can we do it, right? So he finds a way that, of how we can do it internally. Like if we do a group promotion and we want, you know, we, we come up with this wild idea that we want to do X, Y, and Z. He's a person that really we go to just to get, um, uh, how can we do it? The okay. back, even if we had to do it through the back door. And then April um, Basket also, again, been with the company since the beginning. Um, he does the resolutions, right? So celebrity resolutions, um, whether there's issues on bookings, um, um, basically issues with bookings. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. She is, she is the supervisor of that group. But they all back each other up. Okay. They all take each other's calls, just like in um, everybody has a partner advocate, but um, all pat- partner advocates back up each other also. Okay. That's, that's our, 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 our leaders in our group department in Wichita. Is, it's awesome that you've shared this and, and agents on this, this call today. I'm so grateful for Gilda for putting this out here. These are the people. These are the email addresses, the phone numbers. Hopefully, your partner advocate, whoever you work with on a day-to-day basis, uh, is 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 doing a great job, but just know this is the team behind them, and if you ever needed things to be escalated, there is a sequence of escalation. It's called escalation, friends, so we don't just go right up to Richard Fain. We don't go right to Dundra. We, 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 you know, because I, I work for a celebrity, so I, I, right, I right. understand the inside, but not that all suppliers don't work, work like this. You know, I know they do, but uh, this is great that you have this, and Kathy, you had sent me a, a one-on a note specifically, and it's already in Gilda's hands, and we're going to have that taken care of. It's probably going to Jennifer. So if you end up getting, it that, actually already has gone to Jennifer. There you go. Um, and she'll be calling. Um, she'll be calling them. Um, um, she'll be calling on Kathy today. Okay, Kathy. Uh, here we go. We got a fire. We got so much coming in here. Kathy says, uh, "How do we get notified the second that new cruises open up? We have been trying to get space to the Galapagos, but they are completely full." Yeah, Galapagos is a great product for us, <laughs> um, but booking group bookings are limited. That's I'm going to tell you that that one is limited. I mean, the space it's a it's a it's a yacht. I mean, it's people book that at the very beginning. So if you're not so, for example, uh, deployment for Galapagos, I can't. I don't have it in front of me. And I apologize. Mm-hmm. But once deployment is announced, and we usually announce, like, we're, we're, we've are we been talking about deployment now for a while. Um, if you're not getting that email, um, j- emails, just let me know because your sales manager is supposed to be getting it to you. Um, but we've been talking about when deployment is opening for a while now. So you have to mark that on your calendar. Once it opens, be the first to call. With Galapagos, you have to be the first to call. Because uh, the how would they know that, though? How would Kathy know that oh, the the scheduled open date? We've been we've been pushing out the scheduled open date now for three. Oh. No, wait, let me see. When did we we announced um, okay. Europe in October? So we've been pushing out the deployment schedule for the rest of the products since um, mid October. Okay. So that's why if you're not getting those emails. Um, we can get Kathy's number and I can get it to the sales manager so they can make sure that she gets that. Right. Be the first in. That's great. Yeah. Appreciate that. Uh, LaDonna asks, how many cabins do you need to get that net rate? A group is eight cabins. You can get a net rate in FIT, but a group is eight cabins. Okay. Perfect. This this is beautiful. I love net rates. I know there's some people who have a little bit of a fear of working with a net rate because we're so used to working in a commission environment. But <laughs> you may not like to hear this, Gilda, but I preach to all agents not to be a commission hostage. Because when you're a commission right. hostage, you're only going to earn what you're earning 
it could be 10 percent, 12 percent, 15, but that's it. Why limit yourself, especially if you if celebrity makes available a net rate that now we we know we can mark up and we can still have a celebrity collect payment and we can add intro excursions which are commissionable. Uh, let me just get on that for a second. So you can arrange you can or your your group team can arrange custom group short excursions so that would be exclusive and arranged beforehand just for the group. Say that one more time, Stuart. You so our agents if they block a group and we're assuming uh -huh. it's an affinity group, right? We can we they can work with your their partner advocate, okay, and arrange a short excursion in advance. Uh -huh. Oh, just absolutely. for their group. Just, and it's Forget possible. about our but We have people in our sure excursion um, area mm. that talk to these partners and are the ones that are, listen, our group advocate people know a lot, but they can't be experts in everything, right? So we make sure that we have that support everywhere. If it's a group, we actually have um, a, a sure excursion group person that takes those calls and make sure that they understand the group, even if they have something special. Say we, they want an excursion that we don't offer. Okay. Well, guess what? We can work with those, um, with those, um, well, I lost my train of thought. We work with our excursion areas, and we okay. make sure that we get them the excursion they want. And, you know, are they going to get the one they want all the time? Maybe not, because we may not have that leverage. But we have a pretty big leverage when it comes to okay. all the excursions that we book out there. So it's more than just um, a excursion that you may see on our website. We it's have the ability that we can create an excursion for you also. Yeah. This is and a huge. team of experts know what they're doing. This is beautiful. I love to hear this. Again, this allows the agents to create that more inclusive package, something that cannot be shopped, something that is unique and that is more inclusive so that the clients don't miss out on stuff. This is what we need to do as agents because if we don't add more, if we don't supersize the product and the experience, then there's no reason why a consumer needs to book with, with an agent. No reason. They'll just go online and book it or book it direct with all due respect to the direct team. But the whole idea is that, the, that, that you, the agent, you have access to more. You have a, a, a bigger breadth of opportunities because you're, you're, you're not just – you're not the – the supplier direct. You're 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 not the dot com. You've been there. You've done that. You know, boy, I should take care of this. Reserve this in advance because by the time they get there, the line's going to be too long. It's going to be sold out. It's going to be too expensive. God, yes. I got to tell you, you know, just a, as an employee, even as an employee, listen, I have to wait in the lines if I don't book it ahead of time either. Yeah. So we booking your sure excursion ensures that you're going to get the excursion you want. Right. Right. Yep. And it's going to ensure that now you have you're you are promoting something different, right? Yep. Yep. You're talking about an entire package, not just the cruise. Right. Yep. Offer your clients something that nobody else is offering, and you'll get you're going to get that booking. Yep. Onboard events. Uh, you can organize onboard events. Just give us a really quick – we are loading up here on questions, which is – I told you, Gilda, what I promised you. We just pick up steam. So we're sort of in the back – we're in the back half. we got about 22 minutes left here. Talking about onboard events, reserving rooms, and, and uh, can, you know, also in restaurants, can, can dining areas be reserved? And part C to that, would your specialty restaurants – can the group – be prepaid and be seated and pre-booked in a specialty restaurant so that yes 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 and yes um we recommend you do um so specialty restaurants are you know follow the the you know everybody wants to get the specialty restaurant in the days that they don't want are usually the first day and the last day sure. people are you know just getting on board they don't want they want to see everything the last day they're getting ready to go home mm -hmm. but you can pre-book your your any onboard product ahead of time. Okay. You can pre-book them all. Whether you're um, looking, if it's a culinary group and you want to get them into the specialty restaurants, pre-book your specialty restaurant. Promote the specialty restaurants and what they can get. We have all that information about our our specialty restaurants online. If you're doing a spa group, right, ladies? We all love spas. <laughs> we have full facilities on board. Hmm. If you're promoting, let's say you're promoting um, an exercise group, right? Mm -hmm. We have a full, we have full gyms. 
We have instructors in those gyms. We can work something out with them giving the classes to your group outside of the norm. Interesting. Like a private Zumba class, like a private yoga exactly. group, like a, a stretch exactly. class. Wow. Exactly. I like that. It's, it's something new, something different. You know, everybody's into fitness. Promote that, yep. right? You have the facilities on board. Yeah. You have even, you know, um, your the solarium where they, they do promote healthier eating. You can promote yes. that along with your fitness. You know, if you're, it's a yoga group or a Pilates group or what's the new one? Not that I'm the fittest person in the world, but is it Poyo? Uh, wait, Pio, is it? Where it's Pilates and yoga at the same time? Oh, yeah, something like that. Uh, right. Something different. What's working in your area? Look at the newspaper. Look at the online uh, yeah. marketing. What's happening in your area? If you're, again, if you're a local marketer. Yep. Um, and if you know people that are into certain things that you really haven't seen much, there may be an audience out there for that. Right. Again, then find your niche. Find what works for you and find what works in your area and stick with that. Don't give up. Yeah. Don't give up. Yeah. are great. Guests especially, consumers, you know, there is, oh, there's nothing they would love better than to be treated specially. We all want to be treated like a VIP. So if you work with your partner advocate and you pre-plan a private stretch session or yoga, whatever it may be, uh, whether it's food-wise or exercise-wise or a prayer session, whatever it is, if these things are, are done special so when they get on that ship, they're treated specially. Uh, that that goes, that builds loyalty because you've done something for them they could not have done on their own. So I'm going to ask you a quick question there. Then I'm going to I'm going to go right back to the boards here. I've got Ladonna, you're up next. Uh, Gilda, which is this? In your experience, in terms of an agent escorting or not, what what would your what would your sentence or two of advice be to our agents listening right now who are focused on groups, escort or not? Um, well, if we're talking about an affinity group, then yeah, I would say yes, escort. Um, remember, you have got points that you can use towards. Um, you have one one birth for every sixteen for every fifteen, right? So your sixteenth right. goes free. Right. Um, that's that's for seven nights and longer. The Galapagos is a little bit different, and Crusoe is a little bit different. So I'm quoting right. just the um, the norm. Sure. Um, but you can use your gap. To buy your your additional birth, or you can you can you can work that into even a a, a, a net group right where you're selling it to pay that additional birth because it is a birth that you're getting right. So if you're yeah. you're talking, you're usually looking at a cabin. Right. Um, we we have on certain sailings also enough gap to buy you uh, to buy down your your tour conductors right. So instead of one for sixteen, it's one for ten or one for twelve. Um, those are usually on the off sailing, so I'm not trying to sell you this on, on a peak sailing because we're not mm -hmm. gonna we're not gonna that's a, a high expense. Right. Um, they're usually on you know your 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 early or your late season, right. so you can get higher gap. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's I would definitely recommend a tour conductor. Yeah. The tour conductor is your is is for affinity groups is your guide, right? Mm -hmm. um, they work with the group coordinator on board. Mm -hmm. um, so anything, you, but they, they need, you know, they're there for their group. They, if you're selling such a, a especially if you're selling a, a something that is not necessarily a family or maybe a church group or, mm -hmm. but it's an affinity of, 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 of food, an affinity of wine, an affinity, you want somebody there because you're going to have special program for them. You want to be able to talk towards them. They're going to feel comfortable with that tour conductor just because, um, they're the ones they've been talking to since the beginning. That's right. You can yeah. sell. Remember, service is service is a value. Mm -hmm. You want to provide. If, if service is not free, right? Mm -hmm. But if you provide the best service, mm -hmm. they don't they don't mind paying. Right. I couldn't agree with you more. And I am a and we're in agreement. We're we're I'm a huge advocate <laughs> that uh, if it's a if it's a, a larger group and or a complex yep. group could be a small group. And complex, you know, a lot of needs that the agent needs to be there, and if they and if they can use the TC, perfect. If not, at least bake themselves into the overall price point. So I'm glad we're 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 absolutely synchronized there. Uh, Ladonna says, "All right, let me let me 
shoot out a whole bunch of quick questions. When you move a lower priced FIT booking into your group, do you have to release any of your group inventory? It depends on the sailing. Okay. So usually when we allow it, the answer, if that means that the sailing was closed, so the answer would be yes. Right, so the sailing is if the group not not the sailing if the group is closed if group bookings are uh, group space is no longer being accepted then right. yes you would but at that point who cares you're selling at a lower pricing right so you're not going to sell the higher pricing that's right so you, the answer is yes okay uh, Carolyn says do you need an overgrowth form for your groups when you include extras like t-shirts wristbands group photo but we say that you told us that we you can't be an overgrowth you don't accept the overpayment that the solution right. is you'd have to get the net either collect it separate from the guest as we've talked about a million times on the show we can always go into it again because it's important but in your case in celebrities case it's best that at that point if there's going to be additions built into the price they should go with the net uh, and then that, and then they could they could create the price point. Totally Correct. create the price point. Okay. Right. Okay. Carolyn, I hope that answers your question just to confirm that. Uh, so she also asked if there's a limit to the overgrowth amount. So the, the issue here is there is no overgrowth. It would have to be net. Right. Uh, right. You can add up to ten percent of uh, added value. Ten percent of added value. Oh you can um, wait. Yes, ten percent. Okay. But okay. it has to be an added value. It can't be just charging 10% more. So yeah. you can add 10%. Um, I'm a lot for, for t-shirts, like wristbands, hats, caps. Yep, yep. Okay, there you go. I sit corrected. Wait, I'm going to stand I'm, corrected. I, I'm a, I may have answered that incorrectly before, um, but we do allow 10% added value to both an FIT and a group booking. Okay. There you go. There you go. Now we got. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad we got that corrected. Uh, LaDonna says, how far in advance can you hold group space on shore excursion if you have a spec group? So if this is spec group, LaDonna's taking out space, uh, and she it's it's not affinity, so we don't know where it's going to go. Could sell out, may not. Can group space, so this way, can she market it with the shore excursion guaranteed and built in? Uh, how far in advance can that be built in and sort of guaranteed? I think I'm... I, I... Law, I didn't understand the question. Have a group, uh, Ladonna. Tell me if I'm, um, I'm asking it correctly. But it's not an affinity group; it's a spec group. So Ladonna is going to create a, a, a package saying, "Here, here's this seven night cruise, and it includes two of these excursions." Uh, how far in advance can she uh, block that customized group shore excursion so it will be guaranteed for every guest who does book into the group? Um, I'm having difficulty understanding, but it, let me let me let me try this and make sure that that this is the 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 question that's being asked. Okay. <clears throat> so pricing, as you know, we 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 have a whole revenue management pr um, department, so they're always um, pricing is always always going up or going down or staying right. the same for that matter. Yep. But you book a group, um, you have to you know there's there's some pre planning, right? You have to know your potential in the market, right? Mm -hmm. Now you're allowed to take up up to without deposit um, up to um, 16, 15 um, cabins without deposit, right? So you okay. you have that ability to do that there. If you take a group that's higher than 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 15, 16 to 50 cabins, then you have to make a deposit within the 30 days of fifty dollars per state. What about the shore excursion though? The custom shore excursion. Oh, I'm sorry. That's where I kept missing. I'm going custom. I don't know. Um, the show excursion. They, it, it, when you make the group, you at that point you can talk to the 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 advocate that you're looking for excursion. That they would they would talk to the um, show excursion area and they would um, customize it. At that okay. point, you can talk to them. I mean, I, I, personally, yeah, we're getting. Um, you know, we have um, Walter is a new. Um, a leader for the excursion area, and he is very in tune with what we've been talking about for a very long time. When I can, I can think about two years ago when we, or even less than two years ago, Stuart, that our, when we launched our new deployment, shore excursions weren't open yet, mm -hmm. right? Well, guess what? Shore excursions are open now with our new deployment now. Mm -hmm. So when you book your group, 
and you wanted to customize something, they want you to do it at the very beginning. Do it right away. Do it right, right away. There you go. So you could, I got to tell you, a lot of people wait. But if you're looking at a package, yeah. do it right away. Right. I couldn't agree with you more. So there you go, LaDonna. It's, good. it's a great idea to market it with the inclusions there. Uh, are net rates available on shore excursions, or it's just done by commission? I just just by commission. It's a little bit different. We don't book it the same with the group, but the okay. excursion, even if it's a net group, the excursion will be done um, as an added package to the group, and that would be commissionable. Okay. And uh, okay, so Callan confirmed that. I have a question for you about the reviews, the manual review period. When all of a sudden an agent gets a call, and I don't know, does an agent get a call? Let's just say I'm holding space. And uh, your ship is doing very well. And you know, how does that work with pulling space back for me? Uh, do, do you call the agent? You know, how? No, we don't make phone calls anymore. I, I, I'll be honest with you. When we were a little bit smaller, um, we used to. So we don't make calls anymore. But we do send an email out, and every every account is registered with an email. Right. Um, and that email basically tells you within the next ten days you need to either name and deposit your group or name and pay your group. Mm -hmm. um, or if not, your space will be released. So we don't call folks anymore, but we do send emails out. Okay. Is there is there a deposit level, Gilda, that would protect the agent? Well, let's say let's say the agent has, um, and I'm I'm thinking of what they might be thinking right now, as an mm -hmm. affinity group, and right. uh, it it just timing it just worked out that timing they're just about to begin the promotions, but they feel very positive it's going to be a a strong group, and they get this email. Is uh, based, you know, is there something like if they, if they if they have a certain level of deposit in money on that would buy them more time that could save it for them, or yeah, I'm just curious of 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 the policy about taking space back. Um, you can always ask for an extension, right? Um, so that's number one. You're gonna, we, we, we can always ask for an extension. Now, we're, of course, the extension is based on the, the how the sailing is performing, so keep that in mind. Right. The deposit requirements are made, I mean, if there's, if there's money on the group, the deposit requirements are really based on the number of staterooms you have, and you would have already made the deposit. Um, so we don't really have a, oh, I'll pay you this much now, and we'll hold it for the next 30 days. We may just say we'll give you another thirty days. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it can be. It's a discussion, uh, which exactly. is it, good. I love it. Uh, now amenity points. I have a question about amenity points, and and, and I'm going to ask you for a general answer. Probably not fair because every group is different. Do you believe amenity points? That there's uh, the way our agents use amenity points. Uh, uh, do you? Inherently, is there a better way to use them, the most efficient way? Should it be for bonus commission? Should it be for chocolate covered strawberries in a pillow? Do you believe that there's there's an answer if I asked you, what's the best way to get the most value out of amenity points? What would you say? That's a hard one, Stuart. Um, yeah. It's a hard one because I don't know if there is. I can only tell you what I've seen, right? I don't know if it's better or worse. Okay. But, for example, um, a lot of the uh, accounts that book a lot of groups and use their, their their amenity points to the maximum is they offer the amenity point as an onboard credit back to the consumer, right, okay. to the gas. All so right. they offer an onboard credit. That is the majority, that is the, the number one thing used. I think it's like 80%. They use it for onboard credit. Wow. So when they're promoting their group now, they're promoting that onboard credit also, the additional whatever, fifty, a hundred dollars that they're getting back because of the gap, whatever gap points they may have. Okay. Um, but the other thing that I've also seen use, and this is another group to promote, mm -hmm. um, they use it for um for a charity. Right? Mm -hmm. So if you book with me, if you're loyal to a charity, you're gonna get money and you like people you get you like companies that actually promote that charity. Mm -hmm. Um it's a very it's it's a very personal thing for for a guest or for anybody. Yep. Um, so you can promote your marketing and you can use your gap for the charity. You say for every booking that we get from now to here, you get it's fifty dollars 
we're going to give to the charity of your uh, of X or your charity of your of your of, that you choose. So, so that's, here, another that's another way of using it. Yeah, absolutely. And that in this case, the uh, agent does not need to bake in an additional fifty or twenty-five or a hundred dollars oh, necessarily. Oh, we pay. For that. We give them that. Wow. Did everybody get that? Did everybody know that? I was not aware of that. I think that's a great option for a fundraising group uh, to, to use it in that way. Talk to me about your onboard uh, sellers, your, the, the future crew staff. Do you suggest an agent endorse that, say, hey, listen, if you're having a great time, go see them and, and book? I mean, how does that work? Is it good? Is it not so good? Is it risky? Or is it all upside? It is all upside. We Why? Not only, it's, not only is it upside for all of us, right? Because those bookings also have a higher retention than um, other bookings. By the way, mm -hmm. um, the agent gets that booking. Now, this is FIT. They don't book groups on board. Okay. So I want to make sure I'm clear on that. Right. Um, maybe in the future we will, but right now we don't. Right. But the agent gets back the booking. So it means they didn't do the work, but they're getting the commission. Yep. The, the guest gets an additional onboard credit, and they get the best pricing that's out there at the time with the stateroom of their choice because, you know, some guests really want specific staterooms. Yeah. They're booking it late, early enough. So, yeah. By the way, the bookings that are coming in for our onboard, onboard sales are coming in um, anywhere from 14 to 16 months prior to prior. So what our normal window is about um, the the greatest percentage booked is between right. six and nine months. Okay. So you're getting that booking way ahead of time, and those bookings are sticking. There is no there is no loss for anybody there. We get the booking, wow. you get the booking in the commission. Mm -hmm. um, we send you a confirmation, mm -hmm. so you you know that the booking was made. Okay. You send a confirmation to the agent, I which says their customer just booked on the ship. Correct. Okay. This is great. Win-win for everybody. Yeah. What I love especially, and everybody listen up here, is that uh, it, it, they're booking on average. Listen to these inside scoop statistics. The, the, over, overall, people booking on board, it's far out, 12, 14, 16 months. It's far out. So if they didn't book on board, there's a chance they would forget. They may not book at all or what if you didn't show them your love and they went and they booked it someplace else? So you're locking in that future. I mean, that's just locked in revenue that's coming in. Why wouldn't you want to endorse that? Why wouldn't you want to encourage, tell me, uh, your consumer to say, listen, if you're having a great time, make it happen because you're going to get some bonuses too and don't worry about it. They'll let me know you're booked. So I'll pick it up and I'll, I'll, I'll love on you and we'll do all the same things. We'll build in special stuff. We'll pre-book stuff. Don't worry about it. Don't be afraid. Now, everything. They, they take care of everything. And the thing that I love that I've seen out there is um, we'll book for you while you're sleeping. Yeah. Right? Right. So, you can you can promote it. We have we have all the collateral out there for what the onboard offer is, so it's out there for you to use. You can include that in anything you market. So mm -hmm. it's an easy it's an easy. Remember the guests are uh, they're excited, they're happy, they want and and you and by the way, the way I didn't mention is these guests are booking higher staterooms that they would normal that they would have booked in their in their current booking. Right. That, that was that was very key that I didn't get a chance to mention. Again, listen to these in, these inside statistics Gilda is sharing, which I'm grateful for, which is that when they book on board, they book higher. Why? Because they're there having a great time and things are different. You're juiced up. You're, you know, you're having a ball. And exactly. if, listen friends, if it's a group, that's another reason why you need to be there to escort because before that cruise ends, and I just had this discussion via email with Sam from Travel A Good Company. You need to be there to uh, talk about the next group cruise. And even if you don't specifically know the sailing date, the ship, the destination, if you haven't booked it, and if you can have it already booked, that's even better because you make the big announcement while you're all on board. But there's no better time to get signups for the next one right there with them 
passer on a clipboard, sign up, give me $25, and you'll be the first in. You'll get a bonus for signing up early. And you know what? If you don't want to go, I'll give you the $25 back. So I, I just want to just impress upon our agents the two methodologies here. So we we are we are at time. Uh, final question. Uh, Belvin says, is there any fundraiser cruises for a 5013C? Hmm, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know what a 413C is. That that's an official. That's a certified uh, not for profit. So I'm, I'll send that to you separate. Belvin will get back to you separate on that because I want to make sure we get that answer to you. Ladonna says guest books are sailing, and we are holding group space. Can the booking be moved into the group? And do the uh, so if if they book on board, you know what? We are at yes. time, and I I so the answer is yes. If they book yes, on yes. board, it can be moved into the group. Yes. Yes. Um, Okay, and Kyle says, wait, one more question. Booking on board, but if on a cruise in my group aren't new onboard bookings, only FIT at that point. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be FIT, but it can't be moved into a group if you have a group on that same sailing. Correct. Okay, there you go. All right, here's the deal. Um, a few more questions just came in at the 11th hour, but I always pledge to end on time, just like we start on time. So I'm going to send you these questions separate, Gilda, and if you'd be so kind and generous to answer me, I will post these answers in Facebook. That's for you, Elaine, and for you, LaDonna, and for Belvin, because you have follow-up questions. Gilda, I am so grateful you're here. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Stuart.